Hi there, welcome to Plate Factory. Today we're going to show you our setup which we have spent years and years developing so that we've got the best way of producing number plates. And this information here will hopefully help you choose the best equipment. First of all, you've got to get the right stuff. Don't go for the cheapest stuff because that will really cause you problems in the long run. There's a laser printer such as this one here and there's also a thermal printer such as this. They both have advantages and disadvantages and today hopefully we'll be able to tell you exactly which one you should be going for when you're setting up your business. There's no such thing as a number plate printer. Um, people will take a laser printer for example and they'll change the settings in order to make it work with number plate media. And similarly with thermal printers, it's normally a label printer that the manufacturer will kind of modify the ladder tray, change a few settings in order to get it to work with the number plate media. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a thermal printer. We'll make a print onto this reflective here. We're using Aurolite, which is a really good quality reflective, very shiny and also compliant with BSA U105E. We make sure that it's all nice and clean and dust free and we'll place it straight into the printer as such. It's gotta go in the right amount every single time, otherwise your border will be out of alignment. Press the print button here, it should come out. They do print quite slowly compared to a laser printer, but it'll give you a much better print. Now, as it's coming out, you can see that you're getting a true black print and any small specks that you might have are always down to dust. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a Sharpie and for example, you can see just here, there's a tiny dot there. We'll just touch that up, tiny dot there and touch it up. And then what we can do is we can just roll this through, okay? So again, you can see the quality of the print is absolutely fantastic. So we'll try on the uh, laser printer now. Again, we're gonna use Aurolite. You need to make sure it's nice and clean. Place it into the manual tray. You need to make sure it's absolutely perfectly aligned. And we're gonna put this piece over here. And then what we'll do is we'll print, pressing the OK button over here. Takes a little while to warm up. But you need to make sure that that goes in perfectly straight, otherwise it's gonna come out a bit wonky. and you can see the blatant difference in quality. Okay, so it started off really well here, and as the tone has gone along, it hasn't done as well there. Now, just to give you an idea, this is how it prints onto A4 paper. So it is brilliant on A4, but because of the roughness of the reflective, unfortunately, you don't get as good a print. So normally you'll have to print a couple of times to get it absolutely right, but you don't put the same one through you'll put a new one in there. If you put the same one through, you'll end up probably getting this stuck inside the printer. With the thermal printer though, if you do miss off a whole lot, you can put it back in again and it'll print through as many times as you want. So that's the advantage of thermal over the laser. So which one should you go for? Well, here's the thing. You can't print the motorcycle plates on there. You can't print the Range Rover plates on there. You can't print the 4x4 plates on there, but that's 95% of the business, which is, oblong size plates and anything smaller than that. So it seems silly to sacrifice 95% of your business quality for just 5% of the plates that this can do. So what most number plate manufacturers will do is they will have both available. They'll have that one to do 95% of their plates and they'll have this to do the 5%. And what they will do is they'll charge a bit more for the stuff they're running through this because they know they're gonna waste a few of the reflectives to get through there until they get a decent print. So bear that in mind. 